Hello, Jim Ritter here. You can find me at jritter 660 on YouTube, James A. Ritter on Facebook. Today is August 4th, 2014. This is episode 318. We're back on Mission Street again. And look at the chemical bank. We can see that the temperature is 120 degrees. Wait a minute. What happened? Chemical bank always had the temperature. Yep. Probably 200 chemical banks around Michigan. None of them have the temperature anymore. So much for customer service going right out the window, huh? It's all about the money. Don't ever forget, it's all about the money. If you can't make any money on it, don't do it. At least that's what businesses believe, especially national businesses. So, we, Tina and I, had a big errand day. We had to stop at the pharmacy. We stopped and did our laundry, which is one of the last few times we'll ever have to do that again. Especially if our washer and newer washer and dryer down in Florida doesn't break down, along with her dishwasher that she's been dreaming about all her life. Huh, Tina? Yep. And, uh, then we went over to, uh, Laundromia. we'll call Laundromia. it the, oh, didn't I say the laundry? Yep, yeah, we did. And then we went over to the lumber yard. We don't say real names. Mm. They're not paying us a penny for it, so we're not. Plus, if we say their names, I told you guys this before, but I'm telling my wife now. If you say their names, they might not monetize you. And if you don't get monetized, then you don't get paid. And the people that, their names, they're not gonna pay you. And then we went to an Italian place. We had a coupon for it. Plus we both drank water instead of the $3 sodas. So that saved us $6. And the coupon actually gave the waiter his tip, so we actually basically paid what we were supposed to, and then the company paid the tip. But that's a good thing. The company probably should pay the tip, shouldn't they? We all came out good, waiter, Keen and I, and the company came out all right too, I think. They lost a little bit of profit, but if they're not going out of business, they can afford to lose a little bit of profit. So, we are sitting here on the corner. We've got one more stop to get. It's a little, oh, in between a convenience store and a grocery store. They're nationwide, but that truck thought he could make it, but he didn't. Anyway. Oh. Hey, somebody took your car, Tina. Mm -hmm. It's black, not blue. And it's a hatchback, not a sedan. Okay, here we go. Before Speedy Gonzalez hits us. Alright. So, after we make our last stop, we are going to try to attack our house and get some... Uh, Packing done so we can move to Florida. What? Yay, thumbs up. Oh, thumbs up. Yep, yeah, thumbs up. With help, yay, from my hubby. I think we ate so much that we just gotta set the alarm so we don't oversleep and maybe rest for a half hour to an hour and then get <laughs> I'm stuck. And we brought home a whole bag full of food too, so we'll have either dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow. So that was a pretty good deal for it. It would cost us 20 bucks out the even, so that's only $10 a piece. I like it when you get good value. Here's the other side of that bridge I did a couple days ago. Thank you for visiting Mount Pleasant, Ann Arbor Railroad. And up yonder on that hill is where I was at taking the picture. So, 
we're gonna go ahead and start our process of leaving you. Don't forget. And yeah, I went through a yellow one. Sorry about that, people. What? See this finger? It's pointing down. There's a little red tab underneath this video. It says subscribe. Touch that. And then you'll be able to see me every day. And don't forget to leave the thumbs up. When you do that, that times a bright blue. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Also, share the video with people, especially people you think might enjoy it. So you have a great and wonderful day. Sort of like the Oz, right? The great and wonderful day. The great and wonderful Oz, there you go. Great and wonderful day. And also, we will see you tomorrow. TTFN. Bye-bye.